Configuring your first pipeline. Let's take it from the top. To create a pipeline, go to the Templates section, Firm Templates, Pipelines, and click on the Create Pipeline button. You'll likely want to name it after the service that the pipeline is for. Now click on the Settings tab. Here you will see different fields to fill out. The Available to field is where you will add all your team members who will handle jobs related to this pipeline. If you don't add them here, then they won't be able to see the pipeline at all. The Sort Jobs by field determines how all the job cards in your pipeline will be ordered. This is, of course, personal preference, so set it to whatever you prefer, but one of the best practices is to set it to Time in Stage, Oldest First. This way, you'll see the jobs that have been in a stage the longest at the top. Now, the next field is for the default job template. We need to take some time to talk about what this is and how you'll benefit from setting it up. We already explained what jobs are in the previous video, so a job template is used to enter all the job-specific information automatically. Things like the job name, priority, due date, and more can be entered automatically if you use a job template. If you don't have a job template here, then you can go to the Templates section, Firm Templates, and Jobs tab. Click on Create Template, and you'll be able to enter all the details. None of the fields here require much explaining, so instead, I'll give you some examples in a moment. First, though, let me show you what the shortcode button is for. When you click it, a drop-down menu will appear, and here you'll get to choose any account fields you have or time-oriented information. If you select anything here, you'll see it show up in brackets, but when the template is used, the information in the brackets will be automatically replaced with the correct information. So in this tax preparation job template, you can see that at the start, I have the last year's short code. So as soon as I create some jobs and use this template, the correct year will be added to the job names. This will help me find specific jobs later on, differentiate them from any other year's jobs, and keep the naming consistent. The same thing works for something like bookkeeping. In this monthly bookkeeping job template, I have a last month short code. So that way, I always know which bookkeeping period a job is for, and my bookkeeper will always get assigned. You can also link wiki pages to the job template, in case you want to provide your team with some instructions that they'll be able to access whenever they open the jobs they're handling. Create a test job template, and then head back to your pipeline settings. You'll want to select it as the pipeline's default job template. Before we go over the remaining fields on this page, Let's quickly test how the job template works. If I go to my pipeline and I click on the Add Job button, a menu will slide out, and you'll see that all the information from the job template has already been entered here. If you didn't have one, it would have all been blank, and you'd have to manually enter everything. All right, let's go back to the settings now so we can talk about the remaining options. The toggles right under the Job Cards field let you customize what information you'll see on your job cards. You're able to see all of the information when you expand a job, so these toggles will only affect what you see on the card itself. Here's an example of jobs with all toggles disabled and with all of them enabled. Make sure to experiment and set them how you like. Lastly, you'll find the default recurrence settings on the right of all these fields. This means that you can have a pipeline automatically create jobs based on the schedule you set up here. You get to pick the repeat period, the start, and the end date. Once you select those, it's good to go. We'll talk more about how the recurrences work later in this course. For now, you should focus on entering all the details for your pipeline and also create a job template. And of course, don't forget to test it out afterwards by creating a job in your pipeline.